Hi, I'm Olga, and these are my dogs, Simba and Pony. Simba is uh, two and a half, and Bonnie is five. Bonnie is very much princess. She is skilled, she is fun, but she's certainly a princess. Simba, he's fun, he's playful. So if you could describe him in three words, I would say fast, fast and fast. With Bonnie, I think she was a really special puppy and I felt that she is the one who we can work together. About 10 weeks, she knew about 15 different tricks. Oh, Simba is a very special pup. He comes from a family of dogs who've been on Team GB for various sports, dog dancing. I knew he was going to be special. So the lip rock jumps is again one of those records which I experimented with various tricks and I thought well actually that's a cool one. And it's easy to do when you've got two similar dogs, but Bonnie and Simba are so different. One does mega high jumps, another does sideways jumps, and also Bonnie's ears get in the way. The challenge there was to try to control their movements and don't crash into each other. Yay! The socks one, it's built on frustration because I've got two teenage boys. So I've been always trying to encourage them to hang clothes. Maybe if I could teach a dog to hang socks, maybe, maybe my kids will do it better. So that's how we started. When I started teaching Simba, we could do only four socks and gradually he was starting to build the skill and really was enjoying it. Nice, good boy. Simba learned in about two weeks, but boys still know. <laughs> I think it's easier to train dogs than kids, to be honest. Recycling bottles, it kind of developed more organically. When I go with box for a walk, I often go pick up rubbish. One morning, Simba just offered the behavior. He went to pick up the bottle and put it in the bin. And I said, oh yes, that's a good boy. And he thought, oh, actually, that's a cool thing to do. Most people will go and pick up something tidy when they watch the dog doing it, so they could do something great for the environment. The challenging part was to find the right bin for us because the dog needed to put the paws on the top of the bin and the bin needed to be stable. Go, 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 go! go. Yes, good work! Yes! Go, go, go! Yeah, nice! With a coin, nobody had done that before and i never seen anyone doing stuff like that. The most probably challenging with the coins because they get so slippery. Finding the right surface for him so the coins don't slide. Good boy, good boy, nice. So when you teach the skill like that, you start with a big box and tennis balls. Then you have something smaller to make sure it's safe and it's fun. I've been looking at Guinness World Record for years. Both Simba and Bonnie, they know about 300 different tricks. But for me, it was a challenge to find something that is really shows their talent. And that's what I love about Guinness World Record, because you know, everyone has a talent really developing to a really high standard. I was obviously very excited to make it into the book that's uh, a really, really special or oh, sweetie. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> they feel they're superstars after every training session, and I think that's how a dog should feel. For me, I feel this is a start. I've got another five or six records in mind. Bonnie, like she loves scooting, and I really would like for her to beat the existing records on speed yes. scooting. Yeah. It still feels unreal. I think once I will see the certificates on my wall, then it will feel more real. <laughs> Shall we get home? Yeah? What do you think? Would you want to get home? <laughs> Good boy.